crime scene investigation crime scene is the actual location or place where the crime was committed and the evidence of crime may be present there the investigation done by authorities to collect the evidence from crime scene is also known as crime scene investigation by harvesting evidence from a crime scene truth can be determined which ultimately helps in administration of justice the police reach there and cordon off the area of interest in relation to the crime sometimes for example a person is killed at a one place but the dead body is thrown in a pond many kilometers away so these two places are considered as a part of the crime scene the crime scene reconstructions the sequence of events preceding death reconstructed main aims and objectives to recover and then preserve the physical evidence from the crime scene to reconstruct the crime scene and sequence of the events the process of crime scene investigation on getting information the police officer immediately reaches the crime scene the police officer is also known as the first responder his first duty is to preserve the life of the victim wherever possible for this he may call for medical help and ambulance he should also inform his superior officer superior officer superior officers okay and uh, he should record the timing of every event during this crime response for example timing of his arrival to the crime scene he should scan entire area and identify the crime scene and demo demo demarcate it he should preserve and protect the crime scene till the arrival of a crime in scene investigate so that the evidence of a crime is not tampered with or contaminated the crime scenes are dynamic and rapidly changes with the time the scene should be protected from public press or family members he should note the names of the witness and other people entering the crime scene he should take care of the safety of other people like witness and he should keep a witness and suspect separate he should contact the person who had informed the police he should document everything which he has observed or done after reaching the first responder an investigating police officer reaches the crime scene the first responder hands over the charge to the investigating office uh, police officer his team includes uh, forensic scientist uh, forensic lab technicians uh, forensic photographer and the doctor if included now the ipo plans for further systematic investigation he may order for some equipments needed for a crime scene investigation because equipments for every crime scene are not the same vary from crime scene to crime scene determination of the boundaries he determines the boundaries of the crime scene area for indoor crime scene door should be locked or the gate of the premises should be locked the outdoor crime scene should be cordon off with a barricade tape or a string rope he should maintain a record of the person at the with the crime scene area the photography by by forensic photographer should be done before disturbing the scene for example touching and moving moving anything in night use proper light source photograph the injuries along with the scale so that so that 
exact measurement of injuries, identification of evidence, for example, victim and red position, bleeding, weapon, guff, gun, knife, stone, iron rod, impressions. Impressions. Uh, fingerprint, lip print, food print, or shoe print, trace evidence, hair, blood stains, seminal stain, saliva. The collection of evidences for collection of evidences he should use evidence collection kit and he should wear a PPE that is personal protective equipment to prevent the cross contamination of the evidence. Biological evidences example seminal stain or blood stain should be collected as early as possible because this deteriorate quickly. All those evidences which are likely to be affected by environmental conditions. It must be collected early. Not any order of cigarette smoke. Cigarette smoke. Not any order of a cigarette smoke. Um, everything. <coughs> Not any. Any order of cigarette smoke, gunpowder, perfume, gas leak, etc. Preserving the evidence as a user. Clean. Use clean con contamination. The Containers and a suitable preservative to preserve the biological samples at a right temperature. Seminal stain swabs should be dried before preservation to avoid decay. To avoid the decay and fungal growth, the clothes containing wet stain should be dried. Also, control samples have to be collected. Also, physical evidence should be handled as little as possible. Little as possible to avoid contamination. Labeling and the seeding of the containers containing samples. Write a case number, victim's name, date, and time of collection, type of crime, a brief description of evidence, name of the person, collecting evidences, name of the person who has custody of evidence, storage of physical evidences must be kept in a secured area prior to the transportation to the court of law, and a non authorized person should be allowed to go and uh, touch maintaining the chain of custody of evidence in case of trial the court requests the proof that evidence collected at the crime scene is same as that being produced in the court for this for this uh, uh, we have maintained the chain of custody chain of custody Maintain the chain of uh, study documentation of uh, whole process in the form of notes, uh, drawing, uh, sketches, uh, photograph, videos, final survey of the crime scene. To ensure nothing left, a final survey has to be done. A team members should be review the proceedings together along with the initial responder. Roles, uh, duties and responsibilities. Uh, of doctor at the crime scene pre-records. A doctor should carry with him if possible gloves, <coughs> hand lens, ruler, measuring tape, swabs, a chemical thermometer, and envelope. A doctor must ensure photography from the very beginning. A doctor must write his own findings and interpretation on paper, examination of the victim. The, 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 the doctor should examine the victim for circulation and respiration and examine his light eyes for light reflex, pupillary reaction, corneal reflexes. By this examination, we make sure whether the person is alive or dead. If a victim is alive, first priority should be saved the First priority is uh, save the life of the victim. The doctor should uh, 
first aid to stabilize him and then transfer in ambulance to the nearest uh, hospital. Dying declaration may be recorded by the doctor while on the way if condition of the victim is critical, if the victim is dead. Examination of the crime scene is very, very uh, important for the doctor to correlate the findings at the crime scene with the, the findings at autopsy first sight. The doctor should record name, probable ages, sex address of the deceased, location of crime scene, list of all persons present at the crime scene, exact location, position of body, breeding and blood stain, pattern, clothes, a suicide note, a visiting card, ornament, a cash, ligature, like material, cigarette, any weapon, broken glass, and knife, a gun, if in the hand, whether it is loosely held or tightly grasped, handle the weapon with the care to preserve. Fingerprint, blood stain, hair, fiber, grass mud. If weapon is not found at the crime scene, you can tell police about the type of weapon that is likely to have been used. Cut the ligature material if around the neck. Cut the ligature material if around the neck. Leaving the note intact, the saliva on the cigarette and even found that a crime scene may be include or exclude suspect evidence of struggle that is disturbed scene. For example, overturned furniture, broken door or window glass or displaced fluid articles. Identity of the deceased. Identity of the uh, evidence of certain disturbance, for example, over the identity of the identity of the deceased, not identification mark, mole, scar mark, tattoo, probable age, sex, height, built complexion, relatives. Help may be taken for identifications. Since time since death, he should examine various postmortem changes for liver mortis. Algar mortis, rigor mortis, cadaveric spasm, and decomposition. Maggots, if may be collected, note rectal temperature by chemical thermometer and environmental thermometer. Probable cause and manner of death can be documented, which can be later verified at autopsy. Evidence of a sexual assault. Look for a tone. Clothes, signs of struggle. Injuries around private part, seminal stain, blood stain, pubic hair should be combed and loose hair if any should be collected. Ghost piece or any absorbent part should be strapped over external genitalia to collect any fluid which run out during shifting or transferring the body injuries clean the skin and take photographs of injuries with the keeping. Roller and case number, not all injuries. Try to correlate with the weapon found at the crime scene. Examine hands and forehand for defense wound. Poisoning, look for an order. Frothing at mouth, corrosions, vomitus, fecal soiling, injection mark. Poisoning or drug containing lying around the capsules or tablet strips. Strips. Capsules or tablets, powder, syringe, needle, etc. Preserve, vomitus or leftover poison. Collection of evidence. Then along with the investigation team, we are gloves and then collect evidences. Hair or fiber. Hair or fiber should be picked by hand or with the help of a tweezer. Hair or, hair or fiber from clothes or bed sheet or motor vehicle sheet can be collected by using transparent adhesive tape. Apply this tape on the surface and then place it over a clean big glass slides. Fingerprint can also be a tape lifted surface. Blood to collect collect blood on clothes 
cut a small piece and dry it in air take a control sample to collect blood from dried blood stain on solid surface for example knife gold or floor scrape of the stain or rub with the moistened water seven in case of a seminal stain collect it on a white gauze and dry it in air if wet seminal stain on clothes cut that part of the cloth containing seminal stain dry it in air case of dried seminal stain on a surface use moistened swab and then dry it in air saliva identify the bite mark if saliva is wet collecting on a white goes and dry it in air if dried saliva is found on a surface moistened swab then dry it in air sealing and packaging and dispatching of evidence and maintenance of chain of custody train transfer the body wrapped in a plastic sheet to the mortuary with identifying tag the crime sealing packaging dispatching evidence okay plastic sheet and mortuary okay next is a crime search methods first is a uh, first is a Uh, line method or a strip method. The crime scene is divided into some straight uh, parallel strips uh, or a single investigator walks in a straight line from one end to the crime to the other and uh, then returns from side to side. The grid method. The whole crime scene is divided into a grid that uh, is a network uh, which uh, consists of a line crossing each other to form a series of squares and triangles multiple investigators can search different parts of the grid assigned to them spiral in a single investigating start each search from a single point in the center of the crime scene and he walks in an outward spiral so that he covers the whole area the whole quadrant quadrant or so method the whole crime scene is divided into a few square or rectangular quadrant. Each of the quadrant may be searched by the same or different investigators. Array or wheel method. The crime scene is divided by the lines just like a wheel with a spike. Types of crime scene. This is point to point wheel or ray spiral. Grid most effective is grid. Next is lane or strip method, that is quadrant or zone method. Next is types of crime. See, sometimes a victim is killed at one place. Primary crime scene and the body or its parts is dumped in a different place. Secondary crime scene. Afatab, Shraddha, Delhi, Maradar case 2022. The male accused Rafatab killed the woman victim Shraddha in, Shraddha in home and after chopping dumped in her body parts in different locations. Sometimes crime scene covers a very low, large long distance in a 20 year old man woman was dragged under a car for several kilometers in Delhi. Some examples of crime scene. Road traffic accident. Note a script mark on the road. Gray separation and other injuries on the victim or deceased. Hanging or a strangulation. Note a height of suspension. Method of removal of body. Whether cutting the ligature or untying the knot. Note the note and news. Room bolted or not. Drowning. Note the water source. Lake, river, pond, etc. Cloth, frothing at a nose. Injuries, post-mortem changes, injuries, firearm, not firearm injuries, that is entry and as well as exit wound, at the end exit wound, look for tattooing, blackening, changing, burns, look for, burns, for look for gas leak, corrosion, smell, a type of burn, flame burn or scald, mechanical injuries, etc. The death due to poisoning, look for residues in the bottles of Medicine or poison or tablets, while some will syringes needed in case of suspicions for poison.
കളക്ട് ഡിഷസ് ആൻഡ് റിമൈൻസ് ഓഫ് ഫുഡ് ഫോൾ ഫ്രം ഹൈറ്റ് നോട്ട് ഡിസ്റ്റൻസ് ഡിസ്റ്റൻസ് ഓഫ് ഹെഡ് ഡെഡ് ബോഡി ഫ്രം ദ ബിൽഡിംഗ് ടൈപ്പ് ഓഫ് ഗ്രൗണ്ട് കോൺക്രീറ്റ് ഓർ സോയില് ടൈപ്പ് ഓഫ് ഇഞ്ചുറി ഫ്രാക്ചേഴ്സ് ലാസർ ആബ്രേഷൻ സെക്ഷൽ അസോൾട്ട് ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ റൈക്ക് താങ്ക് യു